What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Beauty and the Beast, where we bring you our impressions of the latest and greatest in video gaming, television, movie news, and what's going on in our lives. Welcome to the Beastly Castle. We're down here hanging out in the studio, and uh, we're going to do our review today of The Last of Us HBO Max Special, Episode 3. Three. Episode 3. Uh, we actually watched it today, and... Uh, I got a lot of thoughts on it. Um, it. It was it was interesting to say the least. Spoilers ahead. There's going to be a lot of spoilers. Kate and I are going to spoil this entire episode. Mm-hmm. But it for the people who play the video game, it's not really an issue because nothing that happened in the video game happens at all in this episode. Uh, this is the episode in which I think that the writers and directors went completely off script and went they wanted to flesh out backstories. Of um, Bill and what was his uh, his lover's name? Frank. Frank. Bill, yeah. Bill and Frank, uh, and flesh it out in a way that was uncomfortable for me. Uh, <laughs> they really got fleshy in this one. Um, the 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 episode starts off with Ellie and Joel traveling um, after what's happened to Tess. Of course, she's dead, uh, and they decide to go and find Bill, who's an old friend of Joel, and. Uh, they, they go and, and it shows like a landscape. You see a plane that landed, you know, during the infection 20 years ago. It's just crazy how the world's changed. And they come upon a, a grocery store, right? An old grocery store chain that Joel, yeah. he stored some weapons in until they go inside there. And Joel's looking for his old stored weapons. He can't find them. And Ellie finds like a little area, uh, like a hidden cavern in the bottom. She goes underneath the store and uh, she finds a... She finds a feminine hygiene product. Thanks a lot, Neil. And um, she also we comes... we need those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do. We're just not in uh, TV shows about zombies. Um, but um, she finds that product, and then she turns around, and there's an infected down there. And so, of course, the sound of the infected was really uh, it, it always gets me. And uh, she turns around, and there's this infected guy who's laying down, and it looks like the place kind of collapse on top of him so it's just his head sticking out and she goes over to him and she's like looking at him really weird it's out of character for ellie ellie in the game wouldn't have done that she was like looking at him and like giving him the side eye you know how dogs and cats look at you when when something silly happens and uh she took her knife out of her pocket and started cutting him cut his forehead and uh she's just looking at him watching him bleed he's just making noises looking at her and for me I, i was thinking that he was going to use the cordyceps to let the rest of the infected know where they yeah. were. But for some reason, this zombie or this infected didn't have that ability. So she just stabbed him in the head and went upstairs and, and continued on talking to Joel like nothing happened. And Joel, yep. for him to be the character we're used to in the video game, that would have never happened. He would have known where she was, what she was doing. You know, she's gone for that long. He's calling her name in the show and he's like, where are you, Ellie? And all of a sudden she pops up. Anyway, yeah, the rest but- of- hmm? I was going to say, why didn't she say anything when he was, like, calling her? She didn't say anything. She just popped up, like, she was already back up stairs with him. And it's like, I don't know. It was real stupid to me. Directors. They told her don't say shit. <laughs> and the rest of the show uh, is about um, Bill. Bill's town. Now, I'll say the way it started off is really cool. They did yeah. go completely off script. In the game, Bill still survives. Um uh, his his lover Frank, uh, he hung himself in the game. Left a note for Bill. Uh, in the game, he was telling Bill how he could never stand him. He always hated him. In the game, yeah. And, and so they really, really changed that dynamic of of Bill and and Frank. So initially, when the outbreak happened twenty years ago in two thousand and three, Bill was in a bunker underneath his basement. And so when the military came around and cleared everybody out, he was down there hiding. And he could see everything, and they left it. So he basically took the whole town for himself. He went and broke into Home Depot, stole everything he needed, and built, you know, he basically uh, home alone the entire neighborhood. Yeah, he built a fence around the whole thing. He had traps, everything. Yeah. Um, Security system. Yeah, he had cameras everywhere. He could see, like, it showed one infected come and get shot with a shotgun kind of stuff. And it, it continues to precipitate time. So it started in 2003, and then three years later, after Bill has already built this, this you know, 
cathedral of this awesome. area that's all his own, he one of his traps goes off and he goes outside and uh, that's where Frank is. And so he finds Frank in that hole and Frank asks for food. He brings him inside the house and um, he, he allows him to eat. At first he wasn't going to let him eat at all, but he let him eat and um, let Frank take a shower because he hadn't had r- hot running water in so long he just wanted to stay in the shower. And then he fed him some rabbit and some wine. I'm not cultured enough to know what kind of wine he drunk, but Frank knew. And uh, Frank asked him, could he play the piano before he leaves and goes back on his way? And so they went into his dining room, started playing the piano. And that's when they they could feel the love tonight. Can you feel the love tonight? They should have just started singing that right then. Um, Frank looks at um, Bill and he's like, who's the girl you were singing that for? And Bill's like, there was no girl. And then I'd much rather watch the cordyceps kiss a thousand times over than this big, hairy, manly kiss that they, they both had beards like they were bushwhackers and they just start smooching each other. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. And then they had this very long and drawn out lovemaking scene with hairy chests. Ugh. It was kind of annoying having to keep telling the kids to close their eyes. <laughs> uh I, you know, it is what it is. I, I'm a straight guy. That kind of stuff, it just uh, repels me. I just can't deal with it like that. It just makes my, makes my stomach hurt. And so I know they're acting a role, but I was like, oh, are we going to have to see this over and over again? And the answer is yes. We will have to see this over and over again because this episode is not letting up. So um, pretty much the, the remainder of the episode shows Frank and Bill's love life and them growing old together, um, how Frank takes on more of a feminine role in the, in the neighborhood. He wants to fix up the boutique and plant flowers and paint the house paint the house and, and do things that beautify the, the little community they have because they're growing old together out there. And uh, it was a, a really, it was a touching tale watching these two guys grow old together. And, and, and the, the relationship they had felt palpable. And um, it's just not my kind of thing. But it, it felt palpable. It felt real. It felt visceral. And it got to the point where uh, Joel and Tess came to visit them. Because uh, Frank, he had um, he started communicating with Tess through yeah. radio. And so after he cleaned up the community, he told Bill we're going to have visitors. And so... That's also a, a, a dynamic that wasn't in the game as well. He's communicating with Tess, so she brings Joel out there, and they meet Bill, and Bill's kind of got his gun on the table looking at Joel. Joel's explaining to him, hey, we're good people. We're not going to hurt you. And they became, Bill don't believe it. Well, Bill's a G in that way, in that way. Bill has more guns than an armory. He's got you know food. He's got everything he needs, so he, he really was a prepper, and he said some really cool stuff about the government. But... Um, yeah, they uh, they ended up leaving. Joel and Ellie ended up leaving. But before Joel left, he told Bill, you know, this place isn't going to last forever. There's going to be um, bandits. You know, people are going to come. They're going to come in the night for you. They're going to come armed and you got to be ready. And he had a great retort. And I believed it 100%. He said, we'll be fine. I was like, yeah, because I know Bill in the game. Bill in the game. Bill in the game. Ass. You know, he's a survivor. And... And so I didn't know at this point that the, this show was going to divert so heavily away from the game. Uh, Bill yeah. and Frank continued to get older. Uh, and and uh, it showed a particular scene where bandits actually did come at night. And Frank woke up because these bandits, for some reason, they can't feel fire. So they just stand in fire until they erupt into flames. They are walking up and then they got to a certain point and then gas started to spew out and then... Uh, sparks like one of his traps and all these guys just kept erupting in flames I was like why are they standing in the fire every they're scene, trying to get in every, they gotta get in every few seconds it showed another guy just burst into flames and roll around so uh, Frank goes outside and, and Bill's already out there with his shotgun and his sniper shooting at people he gets shot in the stomach I think he got Is shot it? in the cause he got distracted Frank distracted him he was doing fine without Frank you got a good point if that ever happens don't run outside to, to stop me. I'll um, snipe him from the window. No, I'll be hiding in, in the bathroom. Oh, okay. I'll so snipe him from the go, window don't still. Don't go outside at all. Uh, but yeah, he got he got shot, and it looked like Bill was dying. And I was like, oh, no, they're really, really changing. 
Yeah, the, I was the real dynamic scared. Of the game. And so um, Bill had passed out and Frank was trying to nurse his wounds. And uh, the next scene, it showed them, you know, a little bit older and injured. And I guess it was like six, six years later, Bill had survived so. that onslaught and uh, Frank was with him and they were trying to get healthy and trying to live their lives. And all of a sudden it showed, it, it jumped time again. And now Frank was dying of a terminal illness. I don't know if it was AIDS or if it was cancer. They never really opined on what it was. Yeah, they didn't say. They didn't. He did mention something about there wasn't a cure before this all happened. So why would they be a cure now? So, but but he was really terminally terminally ill, and uh, he was hurt. And um, they were growing old together. And Frank woke up one morning and told Bill, "This is my last day." And so uh, they had a conversation at the breakfast table and uh, Frank told Bill, I want you to take me to the boutique that I, I cleaned up and made nice. I want us to pick out an outfit there. I want us to go to the chapel and get married. I want us to come home and you cook me a nice dinner. And I want you to put these pills, all of them, grind them up, put them in a bottle of wine. Let me drink it with you at dinner. And then I'll fall asleep in your arms in our bed and die. And that scene... Because of the way, I can't remember the guy's name, but the guy who plays um, Bill. Nick. Nick. Oh, you, you're calling Nick. him by the name of his other character? No, that's his real name. Oh, okay. Uh, from Parks and Rec? I think o o Overman, something like that. Okay, as long as it's not Keith Overman. Okay, but um, he was crying when, when Frank was telling him this, and that seemed like a really tough scene. You know, yeah. it, you could see that he was really... The acting was impeccable in the show. And uh, they went on and did all that stuff that Frank wanted them to do. They went out and they, you know, went to the boutique. They both got dressed. It showed all these very uh, passionate and, and emotional scenes of them getting married. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, at dinner time, he made him a really nice dinner. It looked like a rack of lamb. Some nice wine. And... Uh, he brought out the, the pills and he put put the pills inside the uh, glass and poured Frank, you know, his last drink. And then he revealed to Frank that he also took the pills himself and he put enough in the wine bottle to kill a horse. And so that's hardcore. And that's why I was like, OK, what's going on here? Because Bill's in the game. You actually have long drawn out moments with Bill. Uh, he's there when you leave. He's a survivor. And I was like, what's going on? And so uh, they both go to bed. Frank asks him to take him to bed. They go to bed. And uh, they both die. They both yeah. die. They kill Bill off like that. And it's so, so different from the, the moments in the game that they kind of stole from us. Some of the great, great set pieces in the game, like when Ellie and Joel got caught in one of Bill's traps and Joel was upside down hanging and Ellie was yeah. trying to, uh, you know, survive and stay alive and do do what she could to get him down he was shooting those infected scenes like that got stolen uh for a love episode and it's not that it's a a, a, a you know an lgbt thing i feel like it could have been done even if it was straight the whole that whole love thing could have been done in 20 minutes at the longest but they spent 90 percent of the episode on it yeah and i think that some of the other you know more meaningful moments to me because i mean what if this whole 90 minute episode was about Joel and Tess stuff that we didn't, we didn't see before showing them in love, showing them how they, you know, grew together over time. It would be just as boring to me. I want to see more of the stuff that's more meaningful to the game. And I feel like when you divert this much, especially people who know about the game, they know about the lore, you're changing the lore, you know, you're changing the canon of the game. Bill now, uh, you know, Ellie never meets Bill. Because yeah, I mean, I get, I get that they have to flush out a little bit of the story, makes it a little longer, but they didn't even give it a chance to have anything similar to the game, like him helping them, you know, get the battery and and escape the zombies and, 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 and stuff. And getting respect for Ellie and she respecting him, and you know, she yeah. thought he was a badass. All that stuff is kind of taken away, and it's all, you know. But as, as, as long as they're able to, to me to rein it in from this episode on and stick close to the canon, the actual canon of the game, because 
this is my favorite game. The Last of Us is my favorite game of all time, honestly. There's really nothing to me that's better than it. And another thing I wanted to do with this episode, I wanted to start my comparison videos. So I wanted to start playing the PS5 and doing a comparison of what we see in the show and the game. But on this episode, there ain't nothing to compare. There's nothing. Yeah. There's literally not one scene in this episode that is from the game at all. So there's no comparison. There will be no comparison videos. The only mm-hmm. location you might be able to try to snap would be Bill's house. But that's it. There's nothing from the game. And that kind of, that sucks a little bit. So this is my least favorite episode so far. Yeah, I thought it was pretty boring. Like, I was like, just kind of, all right, yeah, this nice story. But <laughs> get on with the game, you know. And, and see, people have their preferences, and and you know, it's like a person who's a vegan. You know, that's their life, right? They don't want to sit and watch a two-hour YouTube video of people eating steak. It just does something to them. And I'm a straight man. I like, you know, I like you. I like what you is. You know what I'm saying? And so, I got a big hairy face, gray hairs and stuff. I don't want to see a guy like me smooching on another guy. It just does something to me. Like ah, come on, you know, too much, too much, and especially the stuff they were doing. Ugh. God help us. I just thought it was super boring and not like the game. Yeah, they didn't take anything from the game. Uh, yeah, that, that's what upset me the most. I'm looking forward to the the next episode because that's the episode in which Bandits actually stop Ellie and Joel on the road. Uh, if you guys remember, there's a scene in the game where there's a guy saying, please, I need help. And Joel looks and like, he ain't even hurt and just drives toward the guy and, and Rex and a bunch of guys come out and start shooting at the car and then they wreck into that store and Ellie and Joel jump out. I Who see, knows I if see. they're going to have that? Uh, <laughs> go ahead and say it. Who knows if they're even going to have that in the game or in the show? I, I, I hope. I hope they ain't that crazy. Because yeah. it really needs... That's a, a, a great, great moment in, in, in the game and it introduces the bandits in a way you know that makes them seem really, really cunning and... and conniving and terrifying and we haven't seen that in the show yet so hopefully Bella Ramsey is more of an asshole than Ellie sorry yeah and her face just irritates me it's like she always looks super unpleasant she has a a forehead that looks like her brain's trying to escape it's just really really out there and and she just doesn't yeah she doesn't have a pleasant face Uh, what do they call it RBF uh, Resting bitch face? Is that what yeah, yeah, yeah. She looks very <laughs> uncomfortable. She has lips that look like someone took a piece of lipstick and put it on the edge of two envelopes. They're very, very small. Uh, and it just Well, white people can't help that. You got a, you got a pretty decent bottom lip. <laughs> all right, good. The top ain't there, but it's all good. Now I'm self-conscious. Uh, you're still pretty. You smile for them. That's all they need. Well, I mean, that, you got any final thoughts about this episode? No, it was just boring. Next. Thank you, next. Damn. Is it like that? All right, Neil. I mean, you can't win them all. Hopefully, uh, you and the director, you got this out of your system. Um, hopefully, you know, they're, they're like, okay, we put it out there. This is the, the controversial episode. They knew it was going to be a lot of controversy. Um, and, and hopefully, they can rein it back in and, and get back to the actual core story and not change important characters' lives and deaths. You know, there's nothing wrong with changing the location or changing... Uh, the way a person came about something like yeah. I, I really like the way that they changed in the first episode the way that the infected neighbors happened because in the game they ran to the window and smashed through but here it was a completely different situation because Sarah went next door to put the yeah. dog back but it still felt similar this here felt completely different and um, I'll give it in my opinion a five out of ten. It's I'll never watch it again. Uh, I'll never. I can't watch it again. No sir. But you guys, let us know what you think in the comments below. Did you watch episode three of The Last of Us on HBO? Um, did it? Was it passionate? Did you love it? Did you like it? Did you dislike it? Did you hate it? Let me know. I didn't hate it. I thought it was an okay episode to watch once. Uh, not something to watch with the kids because they did push the envelope. It didn't get to Brokeback Mountain, but. Um, it, there, there was definitely a mountain. I, I don't know if backs got broke, but there was a lot of stuff going on. So let us know what you think in the comments below and do us a favor. Hit that thumbs up. Help us out with the algorithm. Share the video on your social media. Tell your friends you met this super cool couple that talks about super cool shit. <laughs> and we'll see you guys next time. See ya.